Okay, I'm gonna do one of the wine totes. However, I'm gonna do with the satin circle and I'm gonna do it without the raw edges. It'll have raw edge right here at the bottom, but not the sides and top. Okay, let me do a placement stitch. Okay, you can see it did the placement, sti placement stitches for the handle, but you don't wanna put the handle on until your fabric's on and tack down so and when you close it so we'll just skip that okay so I have my my placement stitch and now I'm going to cover it with my fabric line it up here at the top tape it in place and then go stitch it tack down okay so it did the tack down and it did the circle for the um the opening it's going to be satin stitch uh, so I'm going to trim it out um, I wasn't even thinking about it and I used cutaway so I'll have to cut my cutaway after my satin and then use my handy dandy lighter to uh, get away any extra stabilizer. So I'm just going to trim this and then send it over let it do the satin stitch and then the rest of the writing. Okay, be right back. Okay, it stitched my design and I didn't trim my circle very well. Now I'm going to put my handle on. Now remember, I'm going to st stitch this this way so I can turn it right side out. So I want my handle upside down, you know, out there. And when it comes up that way, and make sure your print, if you're using, I'm just using ribbon right here. So I'm going to take my ribbon down. Oops. Try to tape it. Tape it there. Center them so they look about the same. Like so, right? Then I'm gonna take this up and I'm gonna flatten it right there and make sure it's over everything nice and neat and send it over the machine to do the last stitch. Okay, it's did its tack down and I'm just gonna kind of laugh because I forgot to actually measure this after I cut it seven inches wide. I didn't measure the length and it is about, oh, I'm gonna say three inches too long. But I'm gonna take it out of the hoop. I'm gonna trim the sides, be right back. Okay, I've trimmed the sides and the top. I'm gonna turn it over and I'm gonna cut my extra stabilizer off right there. Um, I'm going to turn it just right side out through this opening down here at the bottom. Okay, just like that. Then I'm going to trim the inside of my circle so my bottle will fit in. Be right back. All right, so that's what it looks like. There's my handle. Uh, let me see, where is the bottle? Okay, and there's the bottle. I guess it's really not too, too long, but that's what it looks like.